Hey everybody, Rick the Adam Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Saturday afternoon, March the 23rd. This is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Got a couple of stake races to handicap this afternoon, folks. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct first. For their feature, the Excelsior Stakes, nine furlongs on the winterized inner dirt track, grade three. Three year olds and up race for a stakes prize of $150,000. Contenders number two, Last Gunfighter, number four, Morty's Miracle, number seven, Ruler on Ice, and number six, Jones Choice. Just for your information, folks, Excelsior is the motto of New York State, a Latin term meaning upward, ever upward. Here in the 101st reunion of this great stakes test, number two, the last gunfighter drops in class by four units this afternoon. It's the pace profile leader in this stakes field, racing at today's distance of nine furlongs on the dirt. It's hit the board in each of his last five, winning four times in this recent streak of racing consistency, including a power run win his last time out. Jockey Rajiv Mara has been in his irons on one previous occasion, posting a win. En route to a double your money pro profit, Mara's back this afternoon for a second ride, gunning for back to back circle trips. Number four, Morty's Miracle, four to one in the morning line, is at the board in three straight, including back to back power run wins in his second and third races back. Race nine summary, number two, Last Gunfighter, tops the contenders list today here at Aqueduct, which also includes number four, Morty's Miracle, number seven, Ruler on Ice, and number six, Jones Choice. 2476 in the ninth from Aqueduct, the $150,000 Grade 3 Excelsior Stakes. Go to Gulfstream Park in South Florida next to race 10, 535 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Pan American Stakes, 12 furlong route test on the turf, Grade 2. Four year rolls and up race for $150,000. Tenors number three, I owe you a big time. Number 10, News Dad. Number two, Neeks North, and number four, Mucho Mas Macho. Number three, I owe you big time. A six to one shot on top, folks, has produced power run performances in five straight, hitting the board in four of those adventures, including a power run win in his fourth race back. Number 10, News Dad, the morning line favorite, has turned in a quartet of power run wins in his last five outings, including a win his last time out. Jockey Jose Lascano and trainer Bill Mott sent him to the post. They fit the board with 53% of their entries. Saddled as a team to date. Race 10 summary number three, I owe you big time. Tops the contenders list today here at Gulfstream, which also includes number 10, News Dad, number two, Teeks North, and number four, Mucho Mas Macho. 310 2 4 in the 10th from Gulfstream, the $150,000. Grade 2 Pan American Stakes. Bonus long shots, Hawthorne, race six, the eight to one shot, number five, Slimy Boy. Speed figures racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt, which are comparable to the favorite, number two, Parton Parcel. Charlestown, race two, number four, Special Exchange, four to one in the morning line. Substantially better speed, that's 11 track master units sprinting at four and a half furlongs on the dirt than the favorite, number two, Ralsey. So handicapping for both Aqueduct and Gulfstream on a Saturday afternoon. Repeat them for the Equibase Winter Circle. Reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.